Well, our first guest is one of the hosts of The Doctors, which airs weekdays here on WLNY at 9 a.m. right after the couch. Dr. Ian Smith is a doctor and author of the book, Super Shred Diet. And Dr. Ian Smith joins us now, so it's always good to see you. Good Thank you for you coming guys. on the couch. Thanks for having me, yes. always. Well, I wanted to say, you called me this morning and I said, I'm going to wear purple. That's you right. And we'll I just, I didn't pick up the phone call. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's you were knocked out. Well, at least for coordinating. Exactly. You know, I wanted to talk to you about this because the article came out and I was stunned that this is even happening. Powdered alcohol. Tell yeah. us all about this. Well, it's interesting. So this company now has created this alcohol where all you have to do is sprinkle it and mix water. And it says that you have the same amount of alcohol you would get, you know, in a regular drink, a liquid drink. A lot of issues. First of all, they're now saying that it was reversed. The approval is now being reversed. Um, the company, the FDA, not FDA, but the... Um, uh, the alcohol agency is saying kind of, well, we goofed up a little bit um, and we're considering some new things. The company is saying it's just a matter of relabeling. But the concern is this. They say that it's to help people who, you know, want a different way of getting their alcohol. But what about people who are going to try to sniff the alcohol? Yeah. Abuse it. Abuse it. They're concerned about underage uh, drinkers, of course. Uh, there are rumors about people saying you can use this instead of, you know, going and buying drinks at clubs sneak this in, mm -hmm. add it to your water. There, there are a lot of usage issues that are problematic. And I haven't seen the studies about its long-term effectiveness or safety issues, but you can imagine that people are going to abuse it going into the nose. It's just it's just ramped with issues. Totally. And, you know, you would think that they would do a lot more research before they would approve something like that. So now that it has yeah. been reversed, well, I think that we're going to... What's gonna... interesting is it, the FDA is not really the one who's involved in this. Um, so so it's kind of, it hasn't passed the typical rigors that a lot of these these uh, products pass. So. Right. Oh, wow. Well. All right, Doctor, let's talk a little about allergies. I know a lot of us here are suffering with this, and there seems to be a big explosion with pollen in our area. So what can people do about this? Well, you know, it's, it's just that time of the year, you know, and um, uh, allergy sufferers know this, but a lot of things that people can do are basic, basic things. For example, stay out of the outside during the, the peak season, or peak time of the day that is, uh, which is typically like late in the morning to, to later in the afternoon. The other thing is, you know what, you have to keep your windows closed, unfortunately, for a lot of people. You got to physically keep it out. Mm -hmm. When you're outside, take those clothes off when you go inside and wash your clothes because it gets into your clothes and now you're carrying it through the house. But most importantly, understand that some allergy sufferers can help themselves by prevention with medication. So, you know, if there are some preventive uh, medications, you can take, take those or take some symptom relief medications. And can these allergies actually cause asthma? Well, it is. There is a link, of course, between allergy and asthma. They can trigger each other, not necessarily cause them, but they can cause a flare-up, so it can go okay. both ways. So people have to be careful. Yeah, I had to use my nebulizer last night. It's gotten so bad. Gotten I so have bad. asthma, and it's like it's horrible. So you have to really watch those pollen counts. I know a lot of people see them on the weather. They're like, who cares? They're real. They're, They're real. real for a lot of people suffering Absolutely. from them. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, now there's a new study that shows that you sweat. The sweat you produce while exercising, rather, can improve the age of your skin. I'm really? having a hard time with Wait. this one. Because well, <laughs> I'm going to go and sweat right now if this is true. Well, the idea is this idea of hydration. And the idea is that, you know, your skin looks better when it's more hydrated. Some people are believing that, you know, sweat contains, you know, a lot of salt, uh, sodium chloride in your sweat. They believe that there could be some chemical composition in your sweat that could actually help rejuvenate the skin. You know, it's not really uh, well researched, not real well studied, but some people are claiming that it could be kind of this natural rejuvenator. So, hey, listen, anything to get people to exercise more, I'm all for it. That's true. Yeah, right? and your book is fantastic. You Super really shred. go through. Yeah, you really go through a plan to help people lose that weight, sure. but in a healthy way. In a healthy way. It's, it's super shred. Uh, it's 20 pounds in four weeks is the average weight loss, but it's all about doing it in a healthy manner. Mm -hmm. People should not go on crash diets that have you do unhealthy things like only drinking liquids or only eating certain foods. Right. In our program, we do everything where it's all full foods, easy and expensive foods, but it gets you the weight off. Good. Let's talk a little about you on the doctor. Is that yeah. congratulations? You're going to have your 1,000th episode next wow. week? Yeah, it's been, it's been a great. This is my first year as a co-host. It's our sixth season, and you know we take really difficult medical information and we distill it down so it's usable for people and it can really impact their lives. And everyone knows that there are a lot of medical issues going on. People want answers and to understand things better. We're not trying to make you doctors, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but we're trying to give you some information that's accessible. Right. But you guys deal with a lot of different issues, and actually you deal with um, addiction and weight loss. We actually have a clip of you guys in action. Okay. Let's take a look. I will take you stopping your smoking and picking up a few pounds because I can work with that. This is what I do all day long, okay? So I'm happy about the smoking being gone. Now I want to focus on this. I mean, I got to tell you something. I was so excited when I saw your pictures because you have so much going wrong that it's going to be easy for you to go right. 
Cool. Listen to that. Look at you. Wow. I'm telling it like it is, but I know. you know. That's kind of my way. But yeah. you know, because I'm very passionate about sure. weight loss and people getting fit. And this couple had just such bad diets. What I'm, say I'm saying to them, it's going to be easy for you guys because there's so much bad. Just making a few changes is going to make a big deal, big difference in your life. They All need right. your DVD. Yeah. I'm sure 27 burn DVD. And, and what else do you have going on? Yeah, you know, I'm doing. I'm partnering with Pfizer. I'm very happy because a lot of people suffer from rheumatoid arthritis. About 1.5 million people have RA, rheumatoid arthritis. And we're doing this free event that people can log on. It's exploring rheumatoid arthritis. Go to the website liveraevent.com and you can join. And it really is important because people suffering from arthritis really don't have a lot of answers. We're going to talk about all of that and more. So Wonderful. log on Good. and register. May 8th is the Thank date. You. Right. Thank you. Dr. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you, Dr. We appreciate Great. you joining Thank us here you. on the couch today. And of course, you can watch the Doctors Weekdays right here on WLNY at 9 a.m. right after the couch. And the show's 1,000th episode airs Tuesday, April 29th. Nice.